Assalamu alaikum graded computer science students we will start with lesson number 11 and lesson number 11 we will learn further topics in powerpoint if you have not watched the last video you must watch that video for lesson 10 first to understand this lesson let's start today's lesson so what we will learn in this lesson we will learn how to change the look of the text size font and color how to add a picture to the slide how we can change the background of the slide and how we can change the design of the slide the, how we can change the orientation uh, how we can change the transition and how we can apply custom animation so we will take uh, the the slides that we have created in lesson number 10 and I will be using the same slides to apply these. Okay, so this was the presentation we made last time and the first thing we will learn is how to format the text. So this is the text. If I want to change the size of the text, I can change from here. We can make it small or big. Uh, I can change the color for example I like this color so I choose it like this for this one for example I want to change the color and I want to make it purple so I can apply any color that I want this is how you can change the text color so let's me try the same here I want to apply for example a blue or a maroon color for this one and for this one let's suppose I again try for different color uh, you can choose the colors here and if you click here you will find a lot of colors and you can choose any color for example I write uh, the uh, red color right or let's suppose this one or, or, or any color for example the purple one and then you can change it to light or darker like this whatever you like you can do it okay so I click OK and this color is here if you want to increase the text size as I told you before you can do from here you can increase the text size as much as you like right so uh, this is how we can change the text size uh, now I want to change the design uh, so from where I can do it I, before I change the design let me show you another thing uh, if we go to design and we can change the background so I can apply any background like this or maybe black or blue or white or whatever you like okay uh, or you click here and uh, you can have some texture maybe for example I want to have the marble like example. so you can choose this marble okay and now it's like this if you click uh, apply to all slides so it will be applied to all anyhow I do not want this and the I want to cancel this so I undo from here and I leave it like this now I want to show you what you can do is there are some built-in designs here and you can choose any of them I try and see for example I want this one so I can choose it like this one maybe you need some little bit adjustment uh, you can bring it here and now it's it's look better uh, the colors maybe uh, you can choose it for example I want it or I can choose from here this color maybe not looking very good on this so I can make it to red color to yellow color or maybe golden looks better on this so I change this Anyhow, it's like this. Right. 
so this is called slide design uh, we will learn now what is animation uh, okay so in the design you can have this okay one thing I told you that was slide orientation uh, how you like the slide you want to have it like landscape or portrait I strongly recommend you choose it like landscape but if you want the portrait it can be done so the slide looks like this but I don't recommend this we will leave it like before and a landscape is better uh, next I will tell you about transition so what is transition when you are uh, running your presentation and uh, you want to go to the next slide so you can add some effects to it okay let's see example i want to have a uh, which one i should try okay let's see i want to have uh, this one so it's effective like this if i choose this one you can see the effect see now it's like this dissolve is like this um, the glitter is to make it more clear okay or honeycomb is like this okay what i will do is i will choose this one and i apply it to all slides so when i apply it to all slides you will see it better when i run this presentation okay let's see now uh, how our presentation is so this is my first slide second and this is the next slide okay